Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Kadisha. Family, this message, um, this, this commentary is coming with a real, real, um, actually, I don't even know if I could even say anger anymore. Um, I realize that, like a lot of people, that I'm realizing that we have a lot of traumatic racial fatigue. Because every time that, I know for me, I don't even want to think in terms of post-traumatic because if I say post, then that means it's after. This is an ongoing, cumulative, hundreds of years worth of racial traumatic fatigue in my spirit. It is a collective narcissism that is pushed off as a society, but deep down, everybody that says that they study narcissism and social pathy, and I mean, uh, you know, social paths, should understand exactly what the hell is going on here right now. You know, everything is full circle, full circle. So if that's the case. I contend, as usual, that this country was started by narcissists. It was started by sociopaths. And the minute that you guys will become one, that there was as an elite group, y'all call them the elite. I call them the sociopaths. Like the star belly sneeches, as Dr. Seuss would say. Um, or the, the that that one percent that decided that society had to change and we had to classify human beings as black and white. And the freaking madness of the whole thing is nobody wants to understand how we got here. So we try to push it off and, you know, not talk about it and uh, 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 scapegoat it. And, I mean, come on. Come on. There is no way certain people of this human family cannot see how white supremacy has hurt them. They, how has it hurt them? It has deeply did a disservice of giving them the attitude of entitlement. The entitlement fact that they don't have to worry about what's happening to somebody else in somebody else's community because that's other. That's other than. And let's don't talk about race. Let's talk about everything but race. Let's talk about a, 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 a mental illness. And, and even though it all is mental illness, but let's just don't say collectively as a community, as a country, that race has fucked us all up. When are we going to tell the truth about it? You people, you people that are also part of the human family and sometimes I shudder to think y'all have been conditioned To just be anti-black. Somebody asked me, can hate be programmed in the brain? Yep. 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 It can be programmed in the brain. And from what I'm seeing now, after all this time, 
is that these people who are since classified as white of all the others that they got it's the other that they could care less about in my opinion is the other that is the descendant of the slave oh they can tolerate the african from the continent they can they can they can tolerate any body but a descendant of a slave because every time they look into our face it regurgitates the history that's between us that nobody want to resolve that accumulates itself in having grown ass coward men running down shooting killing seven year old girls for no apparent reason how a cop could shoot a 12 year old boy cause he's not so called white and it's okay to you because you are anti-black look how fucked up you are I just gotta say don't you see something's gotta be wrong with you if a society is based on everything that looks like you is great. Don't you think something is wrong with that? Let's just, let's, just, let's just think logically for a minute. Because white supremacy has messed your mind up so bad. White people didn't make black people and Chinese people and all the people. The universe made us. What in your psyche? Would allow you to operate other than narcissism and the, being the social paths that you are to think that you are better than somebody that everything in the nature wants you taking over society and to dismantle the Native Americans existence and force them to conform to how you see it how you want to tell it how you want it to be and then you want to reflect everything white like Jesus you want to reflect everything good in society like white. Are you crazy? Can you see what kind of harm that has done to you? That you got people running around here thinking with some false sense of who the hell they really are. And they really ain't shit. They're insecure. They're cowards. Excuse my language. And you think this is acceptable? Y'all just want us to keep on running around here with this traumatic racial fatigue in our brains and in our minds? Is that what you really want? You really want a racial war? You had the police shoot us down. Y'all don't see us as human beings at all? And everything in me says hell to the north. Because you give a damn more about PETA, more about minks, more about animals than you care about a fellow human being. You didn't make me. God made me. The universe made me. Just like something made you. I don't know if coming out those caves under the cold atmosphere out of the ice allowed Joe's soul to be gone. Is that what it is? I think that sometimes. But then common sense hit me back in the head and then I go, no, I'm no better than the, 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 the racist. It's just mass ignorance. And the ones who have created this ignorance are freaking sociopaths. I've come to the conclusion they might have been rich. Just think about it. They even thought back then that if uh, you having a fat stomach and out of shape was a sign that you were prosperous. Prosperous. 
that you were wonderful. And all the people with the hard bodies and that was a sign of a laborer, so you was not aristocratic. Only a, only, you know, the English were very crazy. They're very crazy, narcissistic, running around thinking they're better than people, running around with, let's have tea. Oh, my word. Oh, chili, oh, puh, puh. Just our way. And you've got a lot of gains. You run the world because of this madness that you perpetuated on the whole human family. And you sit back and act like you don't see it. You don't know it. And people are tired. I know I'm tired. I'm tired. 